Good morning, saints of God. Today is July 16th. Our topic is, your choice shapes destiny. Everything in your life is the reflection of what you choose. If you want a different result, you need to choose things differently. It is not your chance, but choices determine your destiny. Every day of your life is a chance, but do you choose the right thing is the question. God gives the reason for the problems and failures of the people of Israel. Let us read that from Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 13. For my people have done two evil things. They have abandoned me, the fountain of the living water, and they have dug for themselves cracked cisterns that can hold no water at all. My friends, the people of Israel chose two things that put them in great distress. People in this world are attracted more about the decoration and the fashion, rather quality and strength. Fake beauty is more attractive than godly beauty. Artificial is more welcomed than natural and worth. The world is ready to choose any kind of pleasure than Jesus. Jesus has blessings and peace, but worldly pleasure has short-term joy, but long-term hurt and pain. Worldly things are passing clouds, but godly things are eternal and tranquility. My friends, what is your choice today? Every choice of yours has consequences and result. How did Israel choose the evil things? Number one, Jeremiah chapter two, verse 17. Worldly attraction. The people of Israel were attracted by outward satisfaction. My friends, world will entice you. The world will show you ways for joy and happiness, but the end is sin and death. Number two, Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 23. Worldly fame. Israel was tempted to be popular. The world will tempt you to expose yourself in social media so that you can be popular. You can be famous. You can have thousands of likes, but you may not know it will bring you even to depression, even to worries, and sometimes tempt you to commit suicide. Number three, Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 35 says, Worldly philosophy. Israel was pulled into philosophy of Gentiles. People were enslaved by the philosophy of the world rather than the words of God. People are attracted to the majority of worldly things rather than to be with God's children. My friends, are you really struggling to control your temptations? Are you attracted by the invitation of the world? Are you unable to distinguish between heaven and hell? Here is the prophecy from Amos chapter 9, verse 12, that they may possess the remnant of Edom and all the Gentiles who are called by my name, says the Lord who does this thing. Let's pray. Our heavenly God, we thank you so much for giving us the wisdom to distinguish what is divine and what is destroying, what is heaven and what is hell, who is Jesus and who is Barabbas. Please, dear Lord, help us to choose what is eternal rather than 
what is evil. Thank you so much for helping us to be with you rather than to be in the worldly things. In Jesus' name we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. God bless you.